What's up guys, I'm here to do a review on Model Model Water Lily, which I got her in a number two. I've been looking at this wig for uh, quite some time now, but I was a little afraid to get it because just certain reviews, you know, was mixed and certain of them were really, really, really good. So I said, you know what, let me give it a try since I gave, you know, Vanessa hair, Super Moon a try. And this is more of like, it reminds me of Supermoon, but a little bit more toned down, but still really like sexy curls. It's not as thick as Supermoon, which is pretty good because this is more of like a day-to-day -day type of wig. Now, what I did was I tried to make the part more realistic by putting foundation all the way to the end of the cap and pulling it above my hairline like I do with my lace front and what I did with Supermoon and then I simply just use like edge control to slick down my edges so when I kind of flip the hair back it just looks like I have a sew-in on um this wig is probably around I don't know maybe like 28 inches 26 inches it goes past my waist and above my butt in the back if you pull it down like this, okay? Um, I got it in a number two. Like I said, I'm gonna stick it to my number twos because that looks really, really natural on me. You can turn this wig into a uh, middle part. I didn't like it on myself, not my thing. So I did my side part that I normally do on my lace fronts. Um, you also could turn it into a U part wig, you know? A lot of people had this wig for a really long time and they changed it into a U-part wig. I'm crafty, but I'm lazy. So I say, you know what? I'm gonna make it look as if it's a sew-in and it's not a full cap. So I think I pretty much accomplished that. Um, just let me guys, let me, let me know guys. Um, yeah, it has a comb in the front, medium size comb in the front and a medium size comb in the back. And I just put a little bit of a layer so it can give it more of a realistic look. Um, as far as a sew-in in the back, because you want your wig to be a 360 fierce. You don't want it to look good in the front and people in the back are looking at you on a bus or in line and like, ooh, girl, you did look good in from the front, but the back, mm -mm, you got to fix that syntheticness. So yeah, so I gave it a little layers in the back and I really love this wig. This is probably going to be one of my favorite wigs I'm going to continue to get. Um, you can dress it up, dress it down, casual, whatnot. Um, I'm pretty much just use it as casual and that's pretty much it. All right, guys. Peace.